Okay. Hello. Testing. Testing, testing. <laughs> I think we have a... Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're back. Um, okay, so that was just a little lecture about how easy it is to train your own voice. Um, and um, But it is important to have a keyboard. Another thing that it's important to have is um, a metronome. I don't know if this thing, little baby, still works. Okay, a metronome is a musical. Uh, it's it's a musical beat keeper, uh, rhythm keeper. Um, I'm trying to figure out a an easy way. It it's it's a timing piece. Um, it's next to having a good ear and being able to have good pitch, the next thing you need to be able to have is rhythm because we're not in the ages of the Gregorian chants. Ah, 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 <laughs> That's my uh, version of of a good of a Gregorian chant. Uh, they're actually very beautiful. I'm not sure if, yet if YouTube has any Gregorian chants on on its site, but um, Gregorian chants are very very beautiful, beautiful. Um, so, um, so you want to have a metronome, and this gives you an idea of beat. One, two, three, four. You know, even uh, Boys to Men, they counted down on that one song. Um, three, two, five, four, three, two, one. Injection Brothers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's Sunday, and I'm doing, I'm doing some R and B stuff here. Some boys to men. I'm telling my age. Uh oh. Anyways, so let's get back to. Um, we'll just finish up this lesson, um, this little qu short, quick lesson here. But a metronome is very important. Piano. Metrobone. Metrodome. Let me click this thing off here. <laughs> um, I can't remember exactly how much this little thing, this little baby cost me. And I think this is my second one. I had one when I was in college at Dana School of Music. But um, I don't know if I bought this one at Juilliard or not. I may have got this out of the Juilliard store. Um, um, the other thing is... Um, the other important thing is to listen to um, singers that are like within your range. Like I tend to focus on music that, as far as in the, I'm I'm speaking about pop or um, out of, outside of the classical realm. Um, I um, I am a full dramatic coloratura soprano classically that's who I am that's what I do um, I I have mad crazy runs uh, and and vibrato and tremolo um, I have great top notes I have whistle tones um, so I am your typical celestial soprano and the one that 
takes the roof off the house. Um, but in the pop R&B uh, culture, um, I tend to listen to people that um, people that have great voices and that they I know they studied, I know they went to school. And one of the persons that I listen to a lot is Mariah Carey. And um, she, uh, she really set it off for Sopranos. Um, <laughs> so, um, really, really, there's truly no other soprano out there like Mariah, you know. So she's one of the ladies that I listen to, but because I have um, I have a unique instrument where I have a very deep voice, as you can hear. In fact, when I was in college, my voice teachers used to be like, "Oh, you're speaking too low." So they used to give me these exercises that are like, "Practice every day, practice every day, practice every day, practice every day." Practice every day. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. I used to have to walk around the school speaking like that. And it just never gelled, gelled in there. Because I have a full, I, I have a full, uh, I have a full register. Like a full, um, I have a full voice. You know, a full, if you want to say, eight octave voice. Um so there's a lot of things that I can sing. Um, and I know uh, since I moved to New York, a lot of people have tried to have p tried to pin me down. You're this, you're that, and I defy them all. Um, so uh, I tend to defy them. If you label me something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyways. And when I do it, I'm going to do it in excellence. So, um, but... Uh, a voice teacher is a good thing if you're able to um, work with a voice teacher. Um, and um, that's really about it. Um, always, I always tell my students to always have something to drink with you at all times. That's even when you're not singing. Always have something. Have like a, you know, carry a little a little pint of water with you. Always have something so that your cords are always moist and not dry. Generally, if you if you're if you're in perfect health and at some point in time, if your if your throat starts to feel scratchy and you know that you don't have a cold or anything, n most of the time it's probably a situation where you don't have enough fluids in your body, and immediately your vocal cords will let you know, your throat will let you know, and. Um, so I, you know, it, uh, I try not to have anything that's dairy before I sing, before I do a performance anywhere. I, I stick to clear liquids like this is Poland Springs, uh, raspberry lime essence. Ooh. And this is sparkly cause like I'm a sparkly person anyway. So, um, or like Perrier water or, um, there's some great, there are some great, um, clear drinks that I got from, um, living in Italy and Switzerland, um, Pellegrino and, um, I'm trying to remember all the other things that I drank over there, non-alcoholic cause I don't really drink alcohol. So I'll have a glass of wine, but we don't need to know that it's Sunday, it's Sunday. What am I doing? It's Sunday. Okay. So that's, that's it on the lessons today as far as you know things that you need keyboard metrodome have something to drink and um come back and i'm gonna start singing yeah amen